Valor, you're not hurt. They just told me what happened. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. <laughs> well, we... <laughs> we're kind of a loser and we need to get better friends. You idiots, weren't you told not to go there? <laughs> huh? Valor, what's that you have? Oh no, it couldn't be. Cool, did you find the treasure? Way to go! Well, now they're all happy for us. Except for the Elder. How could you have pulled out the Mana Sword? It's impossible. The Mana Sword? Legend has it that our village is finished. If the sword is removed, and here it is. It's said that the Mana Sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's why all the monsters are attacking us now. How could an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? <laughs> yeah, we have a great friend here. Stop it! You did it! <laughs> it's your fault! You! But now we have bigger problems. We have an earthquake going on. And down we go. But it did seem to attract the knight's attention. Help, a monster! You have a sword, don't you? Use it! <laughs> oh sure, now you want us to save you. Can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking. So it's time for the first boss of the game, the Mantis Ant. And it can be rather annoying. Especially for a first boss. Especially since it can cast magic, ow. Yeah, gem missile hurts. can also knock us unconscious. Yeah, he's all kinds of fun. So, let's go ahead and use some candy here. <sighs> yeah, that thing just homes in on you wherever you are, so... Actually, getting the time to charge an attack can be a bit iffy in this battle. But there we go. Acid breath. Things like Gem Missile and Acid Breath, they'll pretty much hit you wherever you are. There's no running from them. Ow! Ow, three health left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now, I'll admit I did make things look a little more frantic than they really should be there, but I just didn't want to die. If you do die during the battle, the knight from above, he will actually revive you as many times as it takes. But it gets to be a bit of a hassle. We got the sword's orb. You did it. Wait there, I'll pull you up. And Elliot runs off crying. That appears to be the real mana sword. Huh? What? <laughs> It's supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the mana sword. Here, it's yours. Sorry, but the sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. I'll just change the batteries. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. Valor, the Elder wants you in his house. Well, I have to be off. My name is Jaima. I'll wait for you inside the Water Palace. So let's go see what the Elder wants. Elder, we can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Valor. You've really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let Valor stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go. Get out of here. Yeah, on your way now. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. 
You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. So we're too young to be a knight and pull out the mana sword, but hey, you know, kicking us out of town, that's fine. And we get 50 gold. Hey, we can buy that bandana. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but... Your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Valor. Alright, so with that, let's make a quick stop over here and buy that bandana. Every bit of defense helps. I'm only selling you stuff because the Elder ordered it. Well, aren't you nice and pleasant? What'll it be? Let's take that bandana. You have to equip new armor for it to protect you. Well, at least you were willing to tell us that. So, let's go ahead and equip that. I would go ahead and buy more candy, but things seem to be very happy to drop it in the wild, so we'll just go with that. And we can also go ahead and stop at the inn. One night is five gold. I don't really want to stay the night, mainly I just want to save the game. My health is already full. Hmm, I wonder who that loser is. Oh well. And so we've saved our game, and with one boss down, that seems like a good place for a refreshing pause. Okay, nicely rested and relaxed, and... What were we doing? Oh right, we were getting kicked out of town. And to that end, I suppose we're pretty much ready to go. Have everything you need? Yep, pretty much. You are hereby banished from Potos Village. Now get out of here. Yeah, this guy's gonna stand here the rest of the game just to make sure we know we're banished. <laughs> so, back at it. We have Cannon Travel Center. Yeah, the most ludicrous method of transportation that I know of right off. Hi, we the Cannon Travel Brothers are building a global network. Going to the Water Palace? Jim has already left. He paid your way, too. Hop in. All right, thank you. Don't get hurt. Just slide into the cannon. Yep. Cannon travel. And we're fine. <laughs> and we also have some people here. We came from Pandora to fight Eleni, the witch in the haunted forest. That's Major Dialuk. This mission will be full of danger, but we'll do our best. We need a whip to go through the shortcut to the castle of Eleni, the witch. Major Dialuk, all set. All right, let's go. Now, we can actually follow them to see what's up over here. However, there's nothing we can really do, because, as that one soldier said, we don't have a whip. So, let's just move on. Back to where we're really supposed to go. Let's go, Valor. We've made it to the Water Palace.
So, now what? Hey you, where's Luca? How rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. Welcome. <laughs> you mean this girl is 200 years old? <laughs> she does look rather nice for a woman of that age. My, my. Looks like you have the mana sword. How interesting. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know. The ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted, and monsters revived. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the mana sword. By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains some power from the mantis ant. There must be more hidden orbs which hold mana power for the sword. And you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Once I was one of Luca's followers. I studied the power of mana, which sustains everything in this world. Jema, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the mana fortress. You mean the one that destroys the world in that fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know, Jema. See the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right, I'm on my way. Valor, you go to the cave called Gaia's Naval. Dwarves live in that cave. They make good weapons and know all about weapons. They may know somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. Now to talk with Luca for a bit. Yeah, plot's just kind of happening all over the place here. Valor, what are you so scared of? Well, the fortress seems rather scary. Eons ago, the ancients used the mana fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor mana. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me? I don't know, but now you must re-energize it. No problem. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Okay. Enough. Hold the sword up to the seed. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the mana seed will be mana sent only to you and your mana sword. Mana, mana, mana. <laughs> You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from all the robot masters, I mean mana seeds. Take this spear with you. Mana guardians used it long ago. grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like this spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Eh, we just saved. We're fine for now. First head for Gaia's Naval, just like Jema said. Look for the underground palace. To reach Gaia's Naval, head south through the realm of Pandora. So thanks to Luca, we actually do have a new weapon now. We have the spear. It's actually a little stronger than our sword. And we may as well work with it a bit to give it some experience, too. So, go forth, mighty valor, and discover the secret of mana, which then won't be a secret anymore, you jerk. Then all you can do is take up your mana sword and... 
have your sword of mana and recite the legend of mana to your children of mana. <laughs>